What's going on, Mr. Dave here? We're up here in the uh, Del Mar job, at the Del Mar job. Well, we're actually in it also because we go inside the grotto. We're actually in the job, but uh, we are moving along here, and we're just going to talk about uh, the texture code a little bit. We're not going to walk around and do the whole review of everything because that's uh, a little more that we want to cover. But uh, right now, we just want to talk about the waterproofing and the uh, texture coat. We did all this yesterday, and it's, you can see the dark color. It starts off kind of a bluish color, which I think you saw at the beginning of this video. Michael's up there painting it on in the water course that starts off the <coughs> this grotto feature here, and then it goes this sort of a, I don't know, it's sort of a greenish gray, what have you. Uh, but this is a product called um, uh, Miracoat Membrane C. It's elastomeric, so it can expand and contract ever so slightly, which gives it the advantage of not cracking. There's another product called Thuraseal. Thuraseal does uh, crack more easily uh, because it's purely cementaceous. It doesn't have any, I guess, polymers or something in there that makes this membrane seal a little bit more advantageous in terms of the expansion, contraction, the thermal uh, dynamics that happen on features in uh, pools where you have water and you have hot sun and that, uh, that opposing temperatures can sometimes cause stress. Well, actually, at all these times, all times it caused stress on the um, the rockwork and your cementaceous stuff. So uh, this stuff's good uh, and better for that. We uh, better for that. Underneath it, we have something called um, uh, Miracote membrane. Miracote membrane C is this, and then we have something called uh, Aquablock XL. And that product is actually something that goes in. It penetrates into the the uh, basic structural concrete itself and uh, waterproofs it pretty good, allegedly. I am uh, going by their recommendations and what they, what they say in their product uh, documentation. So that's really cool because that gets inside the structure and then we're in better shape for uh, a waterproofing uh, product to be able to put a little, little protection there from getting through and getting in. So we put that on first, again that Aquablock XL, and then we come back with the uh, Miracle Membrane C and that gives us this uh, very kind of it's not quite rubbery but it you can kind of tell it's a little bit like that especially if you get on your clothes it kind of sticks to them super good and uh, you kind of have to buy new clothes <laughs> so anyway we've mixed up uh, let's check it out we mixed up some of our spray on texture coat and that is going on here we got spec mix this basic spec mix mortar from uh, Home Depot and then we put go add about six eight ten scoops of regular portland that makes it a little stickier and then we also <clears throat> put in i don't know daniel what do you think 10 seconds of this stuff yeah. like 10 seconds you pour like one two three four five six seven eight, ten we put that in the mixer and mix it up for 10 seconds and that uh <laughs> gives you a good volume for a two bag mix this is two spec bags they're 94 pounders and we mix those up it's really watery and uh, so we're going to see if we got the water just right. Sometimes you got to tweak it a little bit to get it to spray out of the little hoppers. They're, they're gravity fed. And, uh, and so we got the acrylic in there. We got the Portland. We got the mix. We mix it up with the spec mix as our basic structural material. And so uh, we're going to load up the hopper. All right, Daniel. Get this going. See if we can walk and chew gum at the same time. So he pours it in, and you just do a little bit to start off and see if it's going to pump through. I forgot the screening that I usually use, which was a bonehead move. But uh, anyway, so Daniel's going to hold We'll see if we can show you a little bit again how we spray this stuff on. And there's little flies, and they're very annoying. So uh, we'll do the uh, the bane situation. So now I'm, I'm bane for a little while. So let's see if we got some pressure. Ugh. All right, let's see if we can blow some stuff on here. That went out great. That went out perfect. Daniel mixed it up absolutely perfect. And so 
this is the sort of the Dave tech, the Dave technique or whatever. I'm gonna throw a little fog coat on here and then I'll put the stamp on here. And so the fog coats they actually mix in their cementitious product. And we've got a little bit of of the gray green. So I'll put some of that on there. And you just want to kind of random. I got a video on that on my channel you can check out. It's okay if there's little there's little chunks and stuff, that's okay. Uh, you know, you want irregularity in uh, you, what you're putting on here. So I'll put that one up there. You can see it's a lighter color, which is awesome. And so we're putting on the fog coat. Again, this is stucco product. And I'm just doing a little patch to show you guys what it's about. Try to put it on and as best you can. It's sort of plain, so it's not like splotches. But it takes a little practice to get that going on. So we sprayed some on this brand new mud, but the cement that's underneath it that we sprayed it on sucks the moisture out really quick. So it goes off really super fast and firms up. So we're wanting to put a stamp in there. So we're going to spritz it with the hose and get a little bit more moist before we put on the stamping. So I'm going to grab the hose and give it a, little, a quick little mist. Thank you, Daniel, for taking the pics. Not much. That's it. When you spray the hose on, you're also getting the areas that are a little dry. They haven't gotten the moisture from the cement being pulled out and then causing the, cement to, the cementaceous product, the fog coat, to go off and get hard, right? That's a cementaceous product. If you get it wet, you just trowel it on or you throw it on and it's going to get hard. It's actually used, I think, to blend um, stucco jobs between the two batches of stucco and they shoot it on. I think they actually throw it on, I think, and just use it to blend the two to make them look the same. So we're using it for our rock work, which is great because this color, once it's integrated and it goes off, it's not going to come off. So uh, paint fades out over time and so you don't want that. So now I'm going to get a stamp and push that in there. We'll see what happens. Oh, I totally totally lucked out. I went to a uh, white cap and they had their sample uh, thing of all the stamps and uh, they were out of all the skins. There weren't any skins at all. There was like one but it wasn't the right kind of thing. So I just said dude I'll buy all your I'll buy all your samples. Go whatever and he said oh not all of them. So I got like 90% of them. <laughs> so so I got all these really cool skins. I even got one right here with shells in it. I'm gonna use that I think in the grotto because it's just cool. There's a little leaf here. It's it's obviously a man-made contrived thing because it's all symmetrical. But it'll be kind of fun, you know, to add that into the into the rockwork texture, especially in the grotto and stuff. So anyway, I got a bunch of these cool skins and uh, so many to choose from. Really crazy. So I'm gonna use some of those to bridge the smaller gaps and stuff. This is one of the older ones I've used. This is more of a granite type. The rocks here are more shale. They're, yeah, they're like this. They're more shale-ish. Shale-ish? <laughs> shale new word. So we're going to use this pattern. You can see it's got really nice, uh, it's a hard rock, uh, it looks like, with little pieces of this, almost shale. Did I say shale-like already? I think I did. Roman slate. Oh, it's, okay. it's the Romans made this. Okay. So we've got some really cool colors. Uh, the project itself is very dark and we'll check those check those out in another video we'll put this around get it up in there so you shake it sort of get the rest of it down in there and I don't I like to do a little little different color sometimes so I'll put some of that in there so let's see we'll see how much yeah, so we're still nice and soft, so this should definitely work. And you want to swirl it around. When you spray it on with a hopper, the, the coat is really, if you'll pardon the term, really snotty. It's really watery, and so it, uh, it it's hard to get it thick. This has got a nice leaning back pitch, and like I said, the basic cement underneath it is, uh, and I'm just twisting it, which is changing the pattern. Uh, trying to talk and chew gum. So you can you can load it up a little bit more. You can see we have some nice patterns here. That's really cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring one of those little guys, the little stamps I got. 
see if we can fill in some of those gaps. If you can hear me, because I'm walking away from the camera. Okay, where, where's the little one we can use? Oh, that one's good. Oh, that looks kind of cool. So, I'll take this little guy with the bright, bright red. This is a new one. I think it's some kind of a something brown. You know the rocks, so it's so we have having irregularity to it. It's totally fine, you know. And you want to probably wear your mask <laughs> with all this uh, stuff going on. There, that worked out pretty darn cool. So I'm gonna push in a little bit on the seams yeah there we go so there you get the idea kind of and you can just keep working it you can spray a new a new batch of uh, of some material over it and then restamp that you know there's no hard and fast thing that says you can only you have to do it in one shot um, you know you're the boss of the applesauce here you're you're making rocks you're kind of playing God on this and so you want to do it so you get a good result but we have some really interesting textures on there from that so underneath it remember we've got the fog coat which is the green and we've got a lighter color on there a cream coat that's underneath these oranges and sort of that walnut color that we got so uh, so there you go so here you go we should a little bit of waterproofing a little bit about waterproofing and uh, how we do the texture coat thing and we're just gonna keep blowing along we got like four buckets we're gonna just keep going and try to work across this whole big grotto face and just keep doing what we just did. Keep building that sort of that shale pattern. The rocks, is, is we'll show you in another video and stuff, are really strong, they're really angular. Uh, it's really a, they're very interesting rocks, really good, strong color, so it's really cool. So, anyways, Mr. Dave and the Rock Pile, check it out. Remember to go to davehenderson.podia.com, davehenderson.podia.com. We got lots of stuff there. You can uh, download some free PDF files and learn how we do this stuff. We've got some videos there as well for free and got some little courses and stuff all the way from 25 bucks all the way to my full course for for 349 bucks. That's everything I pretty much could jam into a whole course on how to make fake rocks and stuff and waterfalls and slides and all into one deal. So uh, for my blogs and links to other platforms, you can check out www.daverhenderson.com, daverhenderson.com. It's so weird. It's like, it's all about me, Dave Henderson. It's all about Dave. It's so weird doing this, but this is what you got to do, I guess, in this day and age. This is the, the way marketing is. So, anyways, yeah, www.davearhenderson.com, and you can learn about uh, other thoughts and ponderances by me. Also, how we do this stuff. I did some blogs about that as well. So, anyway, remember to be thankful and forgiving. Get those things dialed in. You're going to be a happier person. You're going to be a blessing to others, and, uh, and the world will be a better place. One person at a time. That's all we got to remember. So... God bless you guys. Thank you for watching my stuff. And we will have update number 10 on the Delmar job coming shortly. You just want to put a little more time in and stuff until we can walk, walk you through on stuff and show you what's going on. So, Mr. Dave, checking out. Thank you so much for watching my stuff. Tell someone you love them and make someone smile or laugh every day. That's one of my rules. You got to follow my rules. All right, buddy, uh, buddies out there. Have a good day and God bless you. And we'll see you on the next one. Mr. Dave on the Rock Pile, checking out.